business book summaries. Today, I want to share with you a great book called Personal Development for Smart People, The Conscious Pursuit of Personal Growth by Steve Pavlina. Steve Pavlina is not your typical self-help expert. He's a big deal in the world of personal growth. His website, filled with more than 700 original articles covering everything from productivity to relationships and spirituality, has attracted readers from over 150 countries, racking up views in the hundreds of millions. Before we delve further, remember that we regularly share new content. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Business Book Summaries and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. Now, the heart of his book is all about personal growth. We often talk about self-improvement, read tons of articles, but sometimes it feels a bit vague, right? What sets this book apart is that it breaks down personal growth in a systematic way. It's not just theories, it's practical advice, like a complete guide to making yourself better. Maybe part of the reason it's so practical is Pavlina's background in STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. He has doctorate degrees in computer science and mathematics, and he even ran a gaming company before diving into the world of personal growth. The book is built on seven principles, with truth, love, and power as the foundation. Combine these, and you get four more principles, courage, oneness, authority, and conscious autonomy. At first, these might sound a bit fancy, but once you dive into the book, you'll see how they perfectly capture the essence of personal growth. Remember the saying, don't be so caught up in the journey that you forget why you started in the first place well, these principles are the reminders. They offer guidance in different parts of life, like your career, relationships, and more. And it's not just talk, the book gives you steps to actually use these principles in your daily life. So, our journey today has two parts. First, we'll break down the principles of personal growth. After that, we'll see how to put them into action. Ready for this enlightening journey? Part 1. Embracing Key Principles of Personal Growth Earlier, we talked about the seven principles at the core of Steve Pavlina's personal growth framework. Now, let's dig deeper into the four main ones, truth, love, power, and courage. One. Truth, personal growth is like a journey where you're always learning more about yourself and the world around you. It's about looking inside, understanding your thoughts and situation, and exploring the logic of the world. To truly grow, you need to face the truth that your current situation might not align with the life you want. Ignoring problems or pretending they don't exist can give you short-term benefits, what Pavlina calls secondary gains. For example, staying in a job you don't like might give you temporary stability but it masks lasting dissatisfaction. Facing the truth, no matter how tough, is the first step to personal growth. How can you find your truth? Pavlina suggests a simple technique, forecasting. Imagine where your current path might lead in 10 or 20 years. And here's the twist ask a few close friends for an honest assessment. Sometimes others can give a clearer perspective on your reality. Understanding yourself is one part of personal growth, but it also involves seeking truths about the external world. You can do this through forecasting too. We all have a mental map of the world, and when real life matches our predictions, it means our map is accurate. If things don't go as expected, it's a sign to update our mental map. Continuously refining our mental maps is the essence of personal growth. How? Pavlina shares two effective strategies. Let's talk about trying new things. Reading a book from a different field, learning a new sport, attending a social event you've never been to, or exploring a new city, they all count as new experiences. These experiences put our brains in learning mode, helping us gain new insights and broaden our understanding. Take Leonardo da Vinci as an example. He was into art, music, science, engineering, and architecture. Some say he was just naturally brilliant, but the author suggests his brilliance came from exploring so many different things. By always being in a learning state, he kept his brain active. On the other hand, doing the same things every day without any change doesn't challenge our brains to grow. So, it's important to take on new challenges and expose our brains to fresh experiences and thoughts. 
The more your mental map matches the real world, the better you become at adapting to life's ups and downs. As you learn more about yourself and the world, you become more self-aware. This means understanding your strengths, weaknesses, talents, preferences, and even your emotions and habits. But remember, self-awareness can change. Some days you might be super disciplined, and other days you might give in to unhealthy habits. That's normal. The key is using your increasing self-awareness to change habits formed during less clear thinking times. In simpler terms, it's about moving away from addictive behaviors and negative emotions. The author suggests making important life decisions, like changing careers or dealing with relationship issues, when your mind is at its sharpest. Trust your judgment in those clear moments, write down your decisions, and refer to them when you're feeling doubtful later. The author shares his own experience. When he felt most self-aware, he decided to leave the gaming business for personal development. Even though the transition had challenges, he reminded himself that the decision was made with a clear mind. This doesn't mean decisions made during peak cognitive states are perfect. But they're based on the current reality, not clouded by fleeting emotions. In essence, the main principle of personal growth, the truth principle, encourages being honest with yourself, staying curious about the world, and constantly seeking deeper truths about yourself and your surroundings. Now let's move on to the second foundational principle, love. Love, in the context of personal growth, is about choosing who to connect with. Every day, you make choices. Do you spend time with your partner or watch TV? Do you stay home with your parents or go to a friend's gathering? If you're aiming for clear-headed personal growth, decisions about strengthening or weakening connections are crucial. Some say we should get to know more people different from us, but the author believes we should connect with those who resonate with us. We've all been in situations where we don't agree with someone but pretend to avoid arguments. This shows a fundamental mismatch where communication feels like a struggle. As you grow, you'll find that parting ways with people or groups no longer in tune with your frequency is necessary to welcome new connections and opportunities. If you're hesitant to detach from incompatible elements, forming new connections becomes difficult. Embracing the principle of love means continually expanding outward, communicating with others, and deepening ties with the external world. All our relationships, in any form, are extensions of our inner selves. Every external interaction is a reflection of our inner authenticity. Whether you're chatting or spending time with someone, you're exploring different aspects of yourself. Now, let's move on to the third foundational principle, energy. Energy might sound a bit abstract, but we all have some idea of what it feels like. It's often described as a sensation, like calling a lively friend full of energy. The author breaks down this concept into six components— responsibility, desire, autonomy, focus, proactive action, and discipline. 1. Responsibility. Being responsible means taking control of your life, being in charge of where you're headed. 2. Desire. Your energy comes from your desires the things you truly want in life. Don't let others decide for you. Pursuing a job or lifestyle you don't like won't give you the energy you need. Only genuine desires, what you really wish for, can light up authentic energy. It's important to have the freedom to decide what you want. 3. Focus. Energy exists in the present, right now. Being present and focused is key. Wandering away from the present drains your energy. The author suggests a new way to think about time it's not a resource you can freely use. Regardless of what you do, time moves forward. Your only choice is where to focus in the present. Setting goals isn't about controlling the future, it's about improving the present, clarifying thoughts, stabilizing emotions, and sharpening focus. Goals shouldn't stress you out, they should inspire and invigorate you. Instead of chasing distant dreams, focus on goals that bring immediate joy. Choose freely. 4. Proactive action and discipline. This is about taking action, making an effort, and using discipline to move forward especially when things get tough. So, responsibility, desire, autonomy, focus, proactive action, and discipline all work together to shape an energized version of you. If goals cover responsibility, 
desire, autonomy, and focus, then proactive action and discipline might be challenging for many. How do you tackle these challenges? The book introduces a method called personal metric management. This means setting minimum targets to enhance discipline and ensure progress. For example, if you're a writer, set a daily word count goal. If you're an investor, decide on a daily trading volume. These are output-oriented metrics. Another type is action-oriented, like dedicating two hours to writing each day. It's more controllable, you just need to complete the action. However, it doesn't guarantee results, so you might need to experiment with both approaches. Another tip is to prioritize difficult tasks. Arrange your daily schedule from the most challenging to the least. Many start with the easiest, but that can become a way to procrastinate. Prioritizing difficult tasks often leads to more positive impacts, and knowing that subsequent tasks get easier can keep you motivated throughout the day. Now, we've covered the first three foundational principles of personal growth, truth, love, and energy. Let's dive into the first derived principle, courage. Courage, courage is like a mix of love and energy. When we think of courage, we imagine brave actions. Action is a form of energy. Love is important here too because it powers the engine of courage. Imagine you want to do something with long-term benefits, but it requires short-term sacrifices, like leaving a job you're not happy with or ending a draining relationship. Courage becomes crucial in these moments. How do you develop courage? Be direct. Don't beat around the bush when making requests or taking action. Be straightforward and face challenges head-on. Facing rejection, why do people hesitate and test the waters before going for what they really want? Because it feels safer. On social media, you often see posts like, what if I ask my boss for a promotion? Or should I confess my feelings to him? People are afraid of rejection, so they try to avoid it. But the author says this approach is fundamentally flawed. If you truly want something, going after it directly is the way to go. Even if you get rejected, it's not a big loss. And if you're not rejected, you get what you wanted without any extra fuss. Being direct doesn't mean being aggressive. It means being authentic, open, and honest. Enhancing courage to boost your courage. Commit first and think later. Make promises that require effort, and the commitment itself will motivate you to follow through. For example, Agreeing to participate in a competition or run a marathon might seem impulsive, but once you've committed, you'll likely do your best to keep your word. Taking that first step, even if it feels scary, is crucial for progress. Principles of unity, authority, and conscious autonomy, we've covered four principles, truth, love, energy, and courage. Now, let's talk about unity, which comes from truth and love. It's about feeling connected with others and the universe. Authority, from truth and energy, is about recognizing life's realities and using your energy to shape your path. Take control of your life, make independent decisions, and believe in your power. Conscious autonomy combines truth, love, and energy. It's the most potent form of self-expression, allowing continuous growth and creativity. Putting principles into practice in careers, now, how do you apply these principles in real life, especially in your career? Your career is not just a job, it's how you creatively express yourself. It has two parts, the medium, your role or title, and the message, the substance you convey. People often focus too much on the medium, but the core of your career is the message you're sending out. To have a fulfilling career, you need to align with your core message and find the right medium to express it. If your job doesn't match what you really want to convey, you might not find fulfillment. In essence, the truth principle becomes crucial here. Be honest with yourself about what you truly want to express in your career. Align your message and medium for a career that genuinely satisfies you. Career authenticity. Are you being real in your professional life? Have you actively chosen your current career path, or did you just fall into it? Does your job match the real you? Do you have regrets about not taking different paths? To align with the truth principle in your career, answer these questions honestly and courageously. It's okay if you don't pinpoint the perfect career fit right away. The good news is, you get more than one shot. 
As you get closer to your true self, your choices become clearer. Don't let security, money, or fame deter you from staying true to yourself. Relationships and principles. In relationships, we all have strengths and weaknesses when it comes to truth, love, and energy. Reflect on your communication patterns. Are you missing truth, love, or energy? The missing piece often causes issues in relationships. A strong relationship should nourish and enhance your energy, not drain it. Keep some independence in your relationships. Don't surrender your power. Surround yourself with positive influences. Remember, the people you spend the most time with shape your future. Spirituality and beliefs. Now, let's talk about spirituality, your set of beliefs about the world and your role in it. Whether you follow a religion, believe in science, or have other beliefs, it shapes your understanding of the world. The truth principle applies here too. A rational belief system must be grounded in truth. Explore diverse perspectives from religion, philosophy, culture, and more to get a comprehensive picture of the world. Love also aids your perception of the world. Interacting with people and connecting with different lifestyles broadens your understanding. Wrapping up the book, the author presents a personal growth framework based on three foundational principles, truth, love, and energy. Derived from these are courage, unity, leadership, and conscious autonomy. These seven principles guide various aspects of our lives, including careers, relationships, and spirituality. When feeling lost, ask yourself questions based on these principles. Are you being honest with yourself and others? Are you presenting your authentic self in your communication? Do you know what you desire and strive to achieve it? Are you acting bravely, or do you beat around the bush? Assessing yourself against these principles can guide your personal development journey. When faced with these principles and questions, only a few people might actually be living by these seven rules. I trust that this book on personal growth offers you a clearer guide, helping you navigate more confidently on your journey of development. And that's a wrap for the main points of the book. We're keen to hear your thoughts on our content. Feel free to share your opinions or recommend books in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel business book summaries and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest summaries. Thank you and have a wonderful day.